Look at that. Oregon is like the edge of the world. Hmm. Hey, listen. I know what happened with you guys in Seattle. Do you want to talk about it? I'm a good listener. It's your call. No pressure. I... I don't even know what happened. It was so fast. It was the police. It's their fault. Daniel just wanted to play zombie outside. Our shithead neighbor was picking on him. I got in a fight, so Dad came out to help. Somebody called the cops and, and they shot him. They killed my dad in front of me. One second my dad was alive, then, then, fucking cops. Hey, it's gonna be all right. Take a deep breath. Listen, I'm really sorry this happened to you, man. Injustice is everywhere. And you're taking the brunt of it right now. But you're gonna be okay, Sean. How? Wish I could go back to my town. Even if it was boring like that one. At least I've had friends, family, a home. I used to bitch about it so much. Now I've got nothing. What is sure is that's the past. But you can't look back now. You've got each other. And you have to move forward. Why? You may not see it, but what you and your brother have is the most important thing. He needs you. Excuse me? And you need him. I can tell he doesn't know what happened. Sean, at some point, you're gonna have to tell him. I can't. Isn't it better if he doesn't know? If I found out, he's gonna find out. Better he hears it from you. I wish I could change everything back. So none of it ever happened. I... I just don't know what to say. But I'll try. So then, what's your plan? Where are you going? Good question. 
I was thinking, get out of the country, fuck it, go down to Mexico, you know? <laughs> Damn, I thought I was the long haul traveler. Should I go back uh, to Seattle? Maybe I can try and explain everything. What happened? You should do what you think is best. If going to Mexico seems like the right thing to do, then so be it. You're going in the right direction. You have family there? Maybe. We don't even have family in the US, except for grandparents we don't see anymore. What about your mom? No, no way. She's out of the picture. But dad, he always talked about this plot of land he owns in this little coast town, Puerto Lobos. That's a pretty cool name. So it's gotta be great. I guess that's where we're heading then. Okay, so you've still got a long ways to go. We've shot the shit long enough. <laughs> Time to hit the road. drop you by a hotel uh, in a couple of hours. You guys could use some time to yourselves. Okay, Mushroom, you can chase me, it then Chunk. Um, uh, no. Chunk, see if you can catch me. Ow! <laughs> hey, let's play fetch with the pup. Really? Yes. Let me do a test throw first. Cool? Well, okay. But I'm next. Okay, puppy. Go wide. Come on, Mushroom. Get it! Go, Mushroom. <laughs> Good doggy. I think we need a frisbee. Now she wants me to throw the stick. Okay, here. <laughs> Watch how fast she'll get the stick. You go for it. Just don't throw it too far. I won't. I swear. I mean, I promise. Come on, Mushroom. Come on. Look, it's a stick. Fetch. Get that stick. Looks like these two are getting along. It's good to see him like that. Well, I got you that room. Seriously? I... It's only a room. No big deal. Look, I had tough times when I started out. And some strangers saved my life. Thank you. Now's my turn to help someone. It's right there, room 10. On the second floor. Listen, I don't want to freak you out, okay, but you have to be twice as careful now. I know it's easier said than done, but you should get rid of that phone. Really? You can always get a burner later. Trust me. And Sean, Something don't you ever have to talk shut up. to Daniel. Shut up. He deserves Brody, to... You're not leaving? Are you? Yes, I am, but 
Not until Santa Brody gives you a goodbye gift. Ta-da! I, I mean, ho, ho, ho. And don't you dare argue about it. I'll leave it right here if you do. Okay, you win. Thanks, Brody. Feels good. Here, looks like it's yours now. As always. <laughs> Hold on. I didn't forget you. I've had it since my first road trip. And it's always kept me safe. Now it's yours. Cool. Um, do you think it's okay if she wears it? Like, our official guard dog? <laughs> sure. It's your bandana now. Okay. Time for me to hit the road again. Hey, don't look so sad. You can contact me on my blog, A Tribe Called West. So, you better keep me posted when you can, okay? We will. Thanks again, Brody. <laughs> ah, bro hug. Bro hug. <laughs> Wish you could stay with us. Me too, kid. <sighs> Sorry, I'll probably think of a better goodbye when I'm on the road, but until then, take care, my dudes. My dudes. I'm gonna miss him. Me too. Okay. Time to hit the sack. Don't worry, Mushroom. I got you. Souvenirs to custom buy, blah 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 blah. Looks like the manager's asleep for the night. Shouldn't have any trouble from them. Do you think it will have net flats or a jacuzzi? Dude, this is some motel, not an Airbnb. If we're lucky, it'll have cable and a hot shower. you in cave boy we can watch tv too and there's a balcony whoa this is nice and warm <gasps> Ready this forward. bed is soft what about this one uh not bad but too far from the tv can i take the one in front of the tv huh Want to play it over rock, paper, scissors? Oh, there's no way you can beat me, but Ready? I am so ready to beat you. I won! <laughs> the pet is mine! I knew I'd beat you. See? And I knew you'd brag about it. Don't be salty. It's a fair win. Yeah, it is. 
I surrender. All right, I'm gonna run a bath. Would totally reek. Especially you, Pig Pen. I wouldn't be so sure, Cave Boy. I'll call you when it's ready. Uh, I'll be right here. Of course you will. Oh, cool. Hot Dog Man is on. Oh, shit, that was Ooh, wild. I remember this episode. But we have a tent now. Weird, it's on so late. Oh, shit, that was wild. Thanks for everything, Brody. I'll be extra careful. I wish we still had Brody around. 52 box, nice. <laughs> yeah, don't think we'll be coming back this way. <laughs> Let's put this in the bathroom for Prince Daniel. Man, this hot water is going to feel so good. Fill her up. Daniel will love this. Redneck hit me hard. The cracking chain or something. Chain. They hit him harder though. One bubble bath coming up. Brother of the month. Yeah, right. Daniel! You have towels in the bathroom. Don't forget to use yeah, them. Yeah. Hey, Daniel. Bath's ready. What? Already? Can I finish this episode first? <laughs> no, man. You smell so bad, there's no time to lose. Oh. Hey, you smell too. Oh my god, whoa, so many bubbles. Try and keep them in the bathtub. I will, promise, thanks. And no, the dog is not taking the bath with you. Okay, okay, don't worry. I should throw my phone away while Daniel is washing. He'd freak out if he saw me. Time to say goodbye to modern life. Do I get the choice to keep it or not? Oh, shit. Lila's freaking out. Maybe I should leave her out of this, or she'll get into trouble too. Sean, is that you? Do you... Sean! Oh, God. Are you okay? I guess. I'm... I'm in a motel. With Daniel. <laughs> Shit. Everyone's looking for you here. How about you? Are you okay? No. Everything's fucked up. I'm so worried about you. The cops are talking to everybody at school. This is a nightmare. 
We're fucked. Sean, don't say that. It will be okay. I miss you so much. Maybe you could come back. <clears throat> you know I wish I could, but we can't take that risk. They're, they're gonna put me in juvie. And Daniel... Oh, shit. You're innocent. And I've got your back. No matter what. No way. I'm not gonna let you get in trouble for me. Stop acting like I'm never gonna see you again. That's bullshit. I'm sorry. I totally hate this. I guess... The freaking fighters are disbanded for a while. Shit actually changes, I guess. So... Where are you going? Um... We're... Just going... Away... For now. I'll call you if I get a chance. I miss you, Lila. Sean, wait. <sighs> okay. Wait. Okay, okay. And action. Daniel. Get your butt in here right now. What? What did I do? You forgot to open this present. <laughs> Tell me to say bye bye in the phone. You're thrashed. Sorry. You're no fun. Daniel, uh, come here. We need to talk. Can we get a drink first? I'm thirsty. Right now? You said I could have a Coke. Or something. Okay, I'll get you a soda. But when I come back, we're going to talk. Serious. Fine. What's the big deal? I 
know I messed up everything. We're gonna get through this. Don't touch me! Daniel, please! Oh. It's okay. I'm sorry. I just... Just don't lie to me ever again. Not if you're that fucking mental. Ever. I promise I won't lie to you again. I promise. I'm serious, Sean. I know. Me too, Danny. What are we gonna do without him? Shh. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Nothing is wrong with you. You're... different. Okay. <clears throat> what are we gonna do now? I was thinking... maybe we could go to Puerto Lobos. Where Dad grew up, you know? Yeah, I guess. It'll be fine, Daniel. There's nothing we can't do. As long as we're together. Can you tell me a story? Like he did? I'm not as good as him. He used to tell me bedtime stories, too. Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home there with their papa wolf. They all lived happily together. But, but one day, hunters took their dad away. So now the brothers were alone, and they had to find a new home. They started a journey to the great land.
All right. Come on, man. Focus. Okay. Trust me. You can do it. Uh...